Well, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome along to the final half term of your year five. Be honest, have you missed me? Have you? What do you mean, no? I'll ask you that again. Have you missed? I'll ask you that again. Have you missed me? What was that? No. How rude. How unbelievably... Oh, hang on. That's one person. Thank you. You know who you are. I really, really appreciate it. And I've missed you too. Not, not those other guys. Just, just you and me. I've missed you. Welcome along. Welcome back to the final half term of uh, this quite odd year five. Now, there is just 20 days to go. Wow. 20 days to go until you guys finish your year five and move on into year six. It's quite a short term, as you know, but there's loads of stuff that we've got to jam packed to make it the best possible half term that we possibly can. Bearing in mind these odd circumstances in which we live right now. Hope you've had a great holiday, a nice time to relax and you've done some things you've not done before. <laughs> Maybe whatever they are. I don't know. Um, I did a workout video with Miss um, Stenberg yesterday. It was pretty tough. And I've barely been able to manage to walk around for the last 24 hours because it's made me really, really stiff. Um, but I'm going to try it again. It's uh, one new thing I'm going to try to do every day for the remainder of this half term. So as I said, 20 days to go until the end of uh, year five. And uh, what I thought I might do every morning is just give you some random trivia to let you guys know what happened on this day in history uh, through the years. So there are two quite cool little facts I found out about today, the 31st of May. Um, first of all, there's a famous birthday today. Now, um, if you guys have heard of cowboys, like cowboys and Indians and things who are quite famous in the United States, one of the world's most famous actor, cowboy actors, is called Clint Eastwood. And he's 90 years old today. Your parents will know exactly who he is. He's a 90. Uh, and also on this day in history, uh, way back in 1991, which is almost 30 years ago, um, the world's oldest bride was married. She was 102 years old. She was Australian. And she got married to her 82-year-old husband, which is very, very sweet. And I thought a nice little story I could share with you today. Never too late, is it? Um, so then, big shout outs. Well, shout out to Dennis, Adrienne, Rylan and Kayla, who I know have already made a start on uploading their movies, their fantastic Little Shop of Horror sequels to the folder that we set you guys up um, at the end of last term. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of your movies uh, come over the course of the next several days. Now, because we had quite an abrupt end to uh, the end of last half term, for the next two days, we're going to be carrying on doing the same activities that you were going to be doing at the end of that last week before we broke up for the, uh, for the vacation, for the Eid holiday. So uh, today's activity uh, for English is simply to continue and edit your um, Little Shop of Horrors movie, get the scripts finished, send the script over to me, please. Uh, and the same again for tomorrow as well. Um, maths activity, um, we've got another cool app for you. This one's called GeoBoard. And it's uh, looking at different sorts of shapes, different properties of shapes, and then trying to replicate those on one of the geo boards. Again, um, the same uh, activity that you would have done in the last week of term as well. Uh, IPC is some work on deforestation. Again, you would have done that in the final week of term if we didn't have the break. Now then, um, some exciting news. Over the next several days, you're going to get a chance to vote for the finalists for the head boy, the head girl and um, the head of house. Over the next um, few days, we'll be giving a link from Mrs. Uh, Hanashi and you guys can uh, choose who you want to be your student leaders for next year. Um, additionally, on another note, there's going to be more Zoom clinics happening today at uh, 11.30 and also at uh, 12 and 12.30. If you can't remember what time your Zoom group was, I'll send those out to you again later if you email me. I will assume you know. If you don't know, then uh, send me a, a dojo or send me an email and I will tell you precisely what time 
needing to come to your dojo clinic later on. That's either 11.30, 12 or 12.30. Um, and finally, in a couple of days' time, we start a brand new book, which is called Kenzuki's Kingdom. Brilliant book. You'll love it. Um, not very long. And if you've managed to get hold of this book, um, it will give you a good head start, which we're going to be starting to read. I think it is Wednesday this week. OK, so try and get hold of that. Kenzuki's Kingdom by uh, Michael Morpurgo. Fantastic book. And it will give you a bit of a head start over the next few days for when we begin that on Wednesday this week. Right. Have a wonderful rest of day um, doing your work. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the Zoom clinics a little bit later on. Lovely to be back with you chaps once again. I 100% promise you we would much rather be hanging out with you guys doing some fun kid stuff than stuck inside these four walls right now. We miss you guys so much and we cannot wait to see you again real soon. Fingers crossed. Take care. All the best.